You know, years ago I did some work with an astronaut, helping him remember what he saw on the moon. Because there they were in these big space suits, <laughs> you know, and, and they did their job, but peripherally, what were they seeing? And so I worked very hard to try to get this particular, this was uh, Ed, Edward Mitchell, to remember what he saw on the moon. And finally he said, Gene, you're asking the wrong question, you know, really. It's not what we saw on the moon that was important, it's what we saw coming back to Earth. Because coming back to Earth, we didn't have as many jobs, and there we are floating down the hill to the Earth. And there she was, we put through the, our space window, this magnificent blue and silver planet just floating in the womb of the cosmos. And he said, I felt such nostalgia for what the Earth could be. Because you look out there and there's no nations, there's no struggle, just the Earth herself. And I, he said, he went up an astronaut, he came back a psychonaut, devoted to inner space, devoted to helping people be worthy of the enormous challenge that is upon us to make a world that truly works for everyone. But we can only work from inside out. So part of the new mythos is, is the possible human. Is a, not Superman or Spider-Man or any of those people, but the possible human who's actually far more interesting than some of these you know, comic book characters. And so I think it's that. I think it's the possible human who creates the possible society. I think it isn't the lonely hero anymore. I think it's men and women together, people of all ages together, people of all nationalities and ethnicities and races and religions together, working to create a world that works. A social artist is someone who brings something of the passion, the commitment, the focus, the skill that an artist, a good artist, brings to his or her material, only in this case the material is the social canvas, it's society at large. And so the social artist has to acquire skills of crossing the great divide of otherness, compassionate listening, being able to use so much more of themselves, being able to think in many ways so that they can think in many cultures, to think in images as well as in words, to think with their whole body, to tap into the tremendous uh, domain of creativity that lies beneath the surface crust of consciousness. To be available to all kinds of new learning styles, because you've got to learn a lot of things very, very quickly. And above all, to be utterly available to other peoples, to be midwives of souls, to be evocateurs of the possible. Essentially, the, the social artist is a possible human who's helping to create more possible societies.